first question, what is the overall message you are intending to get across with the new book? Uh, the new book carries, it actually carries two messages, you know, they, obviously the title says service, a, a Navy SEAL at war, and that's just because I'm the, the narrator, you know, I'm the one in there telling the stories, and I'm actually telling stories about the men and women that I've served with over the years, and everything that, the, you know, a lot of the accomplishments that they have that kind of went overlooked, uh, and it, it just doesn't pertain to the men and women in uniform, you know, it goes even deeper than that with the families and the wives, and, and I just thought it was important. Uh, now, since I kind of have a voice, you know, and there's people out there that would listen to something that I would actually say, uh, I, I decided to, to give credit where credit was due. And it, it, it all, it spawned, like I said, a lot from the guys that I served with and a lot of the guys that aren't around anymore, you know, that we had lost on the battlefield. And I just thought that that was, uh, it was really important to me to, uh, to get that done. There was a book about uh, the World War II generation kind of, that was kind of similar, and that's where we came up pretty much with the idea, you know, to, to, to get one on board for these guys who are serving now. And the second message is, is you know, service just isn't service to your country. The men and women in uniform service could be just about anything, you know, serving your, not only serving your country, your family, your community, uh, you know, just, and it gives examples uh, of pretty much everything. No matter how bad things get, you know, you keep getting back up, you go back at it, and you'd be surprised what you could get done. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on the Navy naming the ship after Lieutenant Michael? My thoughts about the Navy commissioning a ship after Michael Murphy is just uh, amazing. You know, I, I was, I'm very happy, for, you know, especially for the Murphy family and for our community and for, for the Navy. As, uh, they, they couldn't have picked a better guy. You know, I mean, he was an outstanding man. He was an outstanding officer, outstanding leader, uh, outstanding teammate. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how that usually works in the past, how they come up with those names of, you know, presidents or whatever and how it works. but. Uh, it's, it's a great honor to have him, um, you know, that ship carry that name. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it and to have been a part of that, that operation as well, you know. Um, what would you say to those who will get the opportunity to serve aboard the USS Michael Murphy? Just serve it with honor. You know, you, you're on board that ship every day. Just remember, you know, I'm sure on board the vessel there's going to be the reason why it was named the Michael Murphy and just remember that that guy gave his life for his country and for his for his teammates and he, serving on board that it, was, it couldn't have any greater honor you know just if you're on there put out 110 percent like he did never quit never back down and get the job done um, in what ways do you hope michael murphy is most as a as a great man as a you know not not just as a seal but as as a man in itself you know uh, everybody loved him he was a great guy he's, He's touched a lot of people with the actions that he did in Afghanistan, and I know, you know, he gets a lot of cre a lot of credit for just that day in particular. But you know, there were so many different occasions in, in which Mikey shined. You know, he was he was he was a great guy. He was, you know, he's my best friend. I, I I got a lot of great things to say about him. You know, so just just that. Remember him as a as a patriot, as a as a man who loved his country and gave his life. Okay. Um, what is the 